Middlesex County's Historic Artifacts series continues with Episode 5, A Koss. This is a koss, or cupboard, a Dutch piece of furniture. This artifact symbolizes the preservation of Dutch culture in the Mid-Atlantic region in the late 18th century. The surviving koss allow visitors to learn about the Dutch colonial culture. Kosten are still relevant today because they show the survival of an oppressed culture in the English colonies. Early Dutch Kosten were only owned by the wealthy in the colonies and placed at the central focal point of the Grootkammer, or Great Chamber. The main purpose of Kosten was for the storage of textiles and other valuable goods that the family might own, such as items made of silver or gold. Its function represents the importance of cleanliness in Dutch culture, which is reflected in the symmetry and geometry of its design. The Koss's role also reflects the role of women in Dutch colonial culture. Author Peter M. Kenny stated, Women were encouraged to begin at a young age to make and acquire textiles for a dowry. Once the daughter was married, the Koss and its contents became the property of her husband. This particular koss is made of oak, and was constructed in 1790 by Matthew Edgerton Jr., a prominent New Brunswick cabinet maker. It is a very conservative piece, as he tried to maintain the lessons taught to him during his apprenticeship with his father. The koss's geometrical facade was influenced by the most prominent school of koss design, Kings County. Several of Kings County hallmarks are featured here, such as double fielded door panels and a purely mahogany facade. The facade is evenly divided into the three sections by the pilasters and the diamond panels. These styles are from the 1600s. This cost also uses bracket foot technique, adopted from the federal style furniture that was in high demand in the early 19th century. These feet are marked contrast from bald feet, which were used during the previous 200 years of traditional Coston construction. Edgerton also uses federal-style Chippendale locks and pulls for the drawer and door. Some Coston had illusion of two drawers, whereas Edgerton's piece has two working drawers. In this piece, Edgerton successfully captured the look of the federal-style furniture while preserving the traditional cost facade of the King's County School design. After Edgerton's death in 1836, the demand for more federal-style dressers increased. Thank you for watching this episode of Middlesex County's Historic Artifacts series. This episode is brought to you by the Middlesex County Board of Chosen Freeholders, the Middlesex County Office of Arts and History, and the New Jersey Historical Commission, a division of the Department of State.